January 2017. PS4 Playtime. In January, the crew was playing so much Overwatch that we began to stream the video footage through PS4's built-in streaming software. This new series dominated the channel almost every week this month as we were still recuperating from the New Year's celebration. Of course, we had plenty of material in the works and that was best seen in the next month. However, until then, the gang had many laughs and fun while we got work done off screen. Go for it. <laughs> they were all doing brain! <laughs> the ultimate tactic! We did it! <laughs> February 2017, back in business. In February, the crew had a comic dub and game night each week, even with a couple of fun videos sprinkled in. For comic dubs, we had Gun and Cross crossovers by Crudman, Trip to the Principles by Jess, and Junko and Love by Red Pen. As far as the game nights went, we had plenty in store with two episodes for Splat Night, Weapon Mix-Up, and Camp Triggerfish, along with a night and day showcase for Journey and the first part of a huge Mario Party 6 game night that I've mentioned once or twice about in the past. It's down to the wire! It's down to the wire! You can stop jumping like idiots. Oh! <laughs> you saw that! It was under my ass! As far as the sprinkled videos went, we had another PS4 playtime for Overwatch, a Q&A announcement video for 10,000 subscribers, and after a good two years worth of recording and editing, Connor finally finished and uploaded basically The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, which was and still is one of the more infamous undertakings we've had on the channel. Everything's happy, hunky dory, and that's basically Ocarina of Time! This took too long to make! March 2017, flying smoothly. So in March, we are back to our old routine, comic dub, game night, comic dub, game night, so on and so forth. For the dubs, we had The Greatest Riddle by Your D&D Stories, Reaper's Greatest Mystery by Singular Manly Tear, New Guidance by Doodle Boss, Reverse Psychology by Bumble Shark, and Promises by Uno Bang. Uno -o Bang. Uno Bang? As far as the game nights went, Splat Night was kicking with Splatting Under the Influence and the Urchin Underpass update. This is, like isn't even the same map anymore, like... Oh yeah, dude, I'm totally lost. Meanwhile, the Night and Day Showcase showed up again with Connor and Allie playing through the unfinished Swan. This month ran super smoothly, but at the very end dropped the ball a little bit by missing a game night, which was all explained in the next month, however. April 2017, Lovac House. In April, Allison, Justin, and Connor, the Splatoon trio, all moved from their previous living conditions into their new apartment. And because of this, Connor had to make a quick announcement stating that this is why the comic dubs weren't going to be as frequent, and by that I mean this month didn't have much of anything! Just a 413 livestream, a PS4 playtime, and Splat Night had the Rainmaker episode. Which may or may not be one of my personal favorites. Uh, uh, yeah! Uh, yeah! Uh, yeah! Uh, yeah! Whoa! We won! Get it in there! Yeah! <laughs> Thread the needle! Woo! Oh my god. That got in the <laughs> Thread the fucking needle! May 2017. Game night hype. In May, we still had some comic dubs in progress on the back burner as the gang got more comfortable in their new living conditions meaning that this month was dominated by the Game Nights. The second part of Martin, Stu, Connor, and Justin's Mario Party Hell was released. Oh! <laughs> I... you are not allowed to come back, ever. Allison and Connor donned the cloak of the Dark Knight in Batman Arkham City. It's always sunny in Philadelphia, isn't that good? <laughs> And the Splatoon trio squid jumped into one of Splatoon's recently revealed maps, Flounder Heights. This is, I love the scenery of Splatoon, if I can just say yeah, that much. Like Holy they, shit. This is kind of a weird area, though. It's like a very parky kind of area. June 2017. Road trip! So many pretty big videos came out in June, the least exciting being the night and day showcase for Saints Row the Third, which is saying a lot because Saints Row the Third is kind of known for being, uh, exciting. We opened up the Lovac Q&A, ended the Mario Party 6 Hell, and Allison fought DJ Octavio for Splat Night. Alright, get ready, get ready, get ready. Come on. Oh. Yeah! Yeah! Run up! Shoot him! Hit that bastard, get him! <laughs> yeah! And finally, 
Allison and Connor posted the full video documenting their multiple day trek across country, walking the beaches of California, fighting sand, seeing Chell, going to a concert, seeing mountains, seeing Silent Hill, seeing nothing, playing the same song for over an hour, karaokeing, and eventually moving in together at the end. There wasn't a massive amount of content this month, but for what we did have, it was some pretty crazy stuff. Sup? <laughs> July 2017, Splat Night Finale. So July literally had two videos. This was for good reason, mind you, as the comic dubs were just around the corner, and of course it was the 2017 meetup, but I'm kind of getting ahead of myself here. July had another classic Lovac podcast featuring Connor, Chell, Allison, Justin, and Martin as they talked about the meetup, Splatoon 2, and Overwatch's new character. Then we had a major update in Splat Night as we invited Chell to join in in what was going to be the last Splatfest of Splatoon 1. This video marked the finale of Splat Night, featuring the music of the talented Portman Tone. Would the four be doing more Splatoon videos for the future? Well, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> August 2017, Lovac Meetup 2017. In August, we livestreamed the video game Fortnite for PS4 Playtime and dubbed leadership rallies by Chishio, and those were the only real moments worth noting. Boy, wouldn't that be a crazy lie, wouldn't it? So the biggest meetup to date happened this month. We crammed seven people into one room at one point, with Connor, Allison, Justin, Stuart, Shell, Doodle, and Martin. Each of us providing plenty of content that we'll see over the next few months, and plenty of content we'll see over the next year. In fact, we'll see it so soon that... September 2017. Content, finales, renewals, oh my. So September was a lot. Like, a comic every week, and huge game nights as well. As far as the comics go, we had a taste you can see by the zombie dogs, Gathering Information by Effie Sketch, Journey to Redemption by Mujo Tan, and the long-awaited Return of the Ancients by Protocol Zero Zero. On top of those, we opened the month with the Lovac Q&A, where those seven members of Lovac sat around, ate dinner, and answered questions by you lovely Lovacians. Uh, I traveled here, which is the first time I've ever gone on a plane alone, or traveled anywhere, well no, not anywhere, but anywhere outside the state alone. Hello. Made it. Did it. Made it. We believed in you. You're never Proud going, of you. You're never <laughs> going <laughs> back. <laughs> you're never going back. You beat Homestuck. Um, you beat Homestuck. <laughs> fucking Christ. Oh, Congratulations. Oh, and as far as game nights went, this new group once again visited Mario Party 6, this time with a new cast of members and only two parts. For the 9 day showcase, Connor and Allison played the original Destiny, which came with a big announcement, the Night and Day series. This series moved the showcase to its own channel where the duo play video games in an episodic style, ending the series on Lovac with a big finale. However, on the other hand, we had the premiere of Splat Night Season 2. In Episode 0, Justin, Connor, and Allie attend the Splatfest demo before Splatoon 2's release, taking the side of Team Ice Cream and winning. So September was the first tidal wave of content. Plenty to do and plenty to see. So, how about that second wave? October 2017, a federation is born. So for October, we had a load of fun stuff and even accidentally double uploaded, but that's beside the point. So we started this off with the DR animated and worldly desires by Dulceal, followed up by new jeans and tender speech by Lakira, along with the comic back in the day by Rushes. Or Rushes? It's Rushes with two U's. For the game nights, we had Overwatch's Lucio Ball and Junkenstein's Revenge. We then had Splatoon 2's story mode for Splat Night, followed by a Splat cast talking about what we liked and disliked from the story. And finally, taking the place of the Night and Day Showcase, we had the first match of the official Lovac Rumble, a series directed and produced by Doodled and presented to us during the meetup. This first round featured Connor and his big boys taking on Danny Sexbang, Ego Raptor, and Ninja Brian of Starbomb. <laughs> Talk about an insane first matchup. Are they singing the Nutshack? Yeah, yeah, it's Connor's cover of the Nutshack. Are you shitting me? <laughs> oh my god. November 2017. Slowing down. So November came with a few hiccups that slowed us down, but we got a couple of videos out. Our Halloween dub, The Story of a Ghoul by Iguana Mouth, it came out a little bit later, but still close enough to be relevant. We had a PS4 playtime for Moira's release in Overwatch. The second match of Lovac Rumble was revealed as Nate, Justin Stewart, and Martin took on the Gunch from Nate's channel and Walter from the old series My Cat Walter as all six of them fought for the title in a ladder match. Everyone's in on this oh, now. Oh, oh, no. No. I love that you 
took it took off your undershirt to fight, by the way. <laughs> for Splat Night, the trio teamed up with Marina on Team Ketchup for the Splatfest, Ketchup versus Mayo. Finally, we had an official announcement for our Discord, which if you didn't know about our Discord, check out the link in the description below and hang out with us. It'll be fun. Discord! December 2017, where are we now? So we've been taking it easy for December, even announcing that we'd have little to no videos out by the end of the year. Then a day after that, the Lovac bot host from Discord announced that there was a third match of Lovac Rumble that came out. So for the third match, for the third match we had an elimination chamber where Allison and Chell took on their hopes and memes, facing off against Belly, Garnet, Metaton, and Chloe, the derpy cat. Whoa! What's Allie doing? Whoa! Whoa. What's Metaton doing? Oh, oh holy god. shit! That is the Whoa. most Metaton thing I have ever seen in my yeah, entire oh life. Yeah, oh my god. Aside from that, we had the Lovac holiday cast where we talked about the holidays and plans for next year. And for our holiday dub, we had Merry Christmas by Becky. And then there's this video. And then there's this video. <clears throat> another year down, another's just around the corner, and we're still here. I don't know why, but this year's been fairly nostalgic for me. I've worked with video and created content for over 10 years now, creating my first YouTube account when I was just 13. It's crazy to see where my life has led me. It's crazy to sit through these past videos and not only watch the content I poured my heart into, but to know the stories that went into these videos. The joy, the fun, the hardships, the pain. Every video I've put work into has a story. There isn't a single video on Lovac that's an exception to that. Hell, every throwback stream we have, I love pointing out the little tidbits and background information to each of these videos. Every video on this channel serves as a memory of the good times and even some of the bad times. A lot of my videos before Lovac have memories that are downright painful. But they're memories that got me here, where I am now. And as the new year kicks in, it's time to leave the past in the past and look towards the future. Because there's this quote I heard this year that I've actually kind of kept with me for a while. I wish there was a way to know that you're in the good old days before you've actually left them. Well, these are the good old days. And I wanted to thank you all for joining us and experiencing them. Here's to the future, where there's plenty more memories and experiences to be had. See ya in 2018.